Today we're gonna look at the book, What Do You Do With An Idea? Written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Bessam. And I want you to think about the author's purpose when we're reading. Why did uh, he write this book? And text to self, I want you to think, have you ever had an idea? Um, and explain it. All right. One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? So the idea is um, characterized by this egg with a crown on its head and everywhere the egg or the idea goes it's colorful and everything else is kind of black and white in terms of the illustration. <clears throat> At first I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me but it followed me. <clears throat> I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. <clears throat> and at first I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do, and it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. Now it's all colorful. No more black and white. <clears throat> I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. Okay. <clears throat> So, you have a little post-it note, like this, and really quick, let's talk about um, text to self. Have you ever had an idea? And explain it. So, I'm going to write down an, um, an idea I've had before. And <clears throat> you're gonna write down yours, okay? I had an idea once about, and then you need to fill in the blanks, okay, for that one. I had an idea about, okay, and you need to kind of write about it. And then the next thing we're doing is on another uh, post-it, 
the author's purpose. Why did he write this book? Mm, let's make this into an H. He wrote it because, and I'm gonna help you with this one. Um, this should be an H. He wrote it because, why did he write this book? What do you do with an idea? He wanted people to pay attention to their ideas because they can change the world, right? So you can actually come up with your own um, reason, but that, that's a good starter, okay?